This is the R2D2 Front Logic Display Controller Board. This was designed specifically to control the front top and bottom logic displays that were provided on the R2D2 Builders Group. For the advanced users, we have a programmable chip location here that you can have soldered in that will allow you to hook it up to your computer and actually program the logic displays to display whatever you want it to. You would just hook up your connectors to these pins up here. The first one is for the top, the second one is for the bottom, and they control the top and the bottom logic displays. Over here we have a tester pin that allows you to test your display and it will just display it con continuously, non-stop. Or if you've got a remote trigger, you can put it on in this spot right here and allow you to trigger the display anytime you press the remote on your radio control. Over here we have the trigger time pins and your reset time pins. So for black, it starts in the 5 position and goes all the way up to the 8 position. By moving the black forward, you can lengthen the time between the displays. In the 5 position, the display would be triggered after about 14 seconds of the random display. Moving it to the 6th position is triggered at about 21 seconds. In the 7th display, you get 27 seconds before the display is triggered. And in the 8th and the last spot, it'd be 33 seconds before the R2D2 Builders Club is displayed. The display lasts about 10 seconds long. If you remove the black and just have the red on here, you can get up to a minute and 21 seconds before the R2D2 Builders Club is displayed. So, and it's got hardware points the top and bottom so you can actually have pins on the dome where this can go slide in and you can have it removable if you want otherwise just you can hot glue it straight to your dome. It works with a 9 volt battery. This cable you can get at Radio Shack and just put it together yourself and it'll just slide in there and you've got your battery connected the logic displays, as provided by the R2 Builders Group. We'll just plug in to here and plug in to here. It's got five pins, but only four actually work, so the last pin doesn't isn't connected, so you don't want to plug it into those. It says no there. So there you go. It displays the random display. And after 14 seconds, it will display R2D2 Builders Club. And to lengthen the time, you're just simply moving the black pin here, forward, and forward to the last one, which would be, again, 33 seconds before the R2 Builders Club is displayed. And if you were just to place it on the trigger by itself, it will continue to display R2D2 Builders Club infinitely loop. Or again, you can put your remote trigger on it and have it click anytime you want to. So that's it for the board. Hope you enjoy it.